Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Martinez and today we're making a creamy tomato pasta. To begin, start boiling or pour over some really boiling water to one cup of raw cashews. I do this in a plate and let it simmer and boil for about 20 minutes to an hour to get those cashews really nice and creamy. This recipe is really simple and I use store-bought pasta sauce and I add four to five cups of pasta sauce, store-bought. You can also use homemade to a blender. Once your cashews are completely softened, drain and then add them to your blender and blend until completely smooth. You don't want any cashew chunks, that's why we parboil them, you can boil them on the stove or have them hang out in some boiling water and then cream them until they're a nice creamy tomato consistency. It will turn nice and pink and orange hue. This recipe is super simple and you can choose to change the kinds of veggies that you use. I chose to use some broccoli. I basically chopped it up, added the florets, and I also included the stem of the broccoli because it's one of the most nutritious parts of the broccoli. Chopped it all up, diced up the broccoli stem as well, and seasoned it with salt and pepper, some garlic powder, and red pepper flakes. This is super generic. You can add some thyme in there, oregano to mix it up, and any fresh or dried herbs. Bake in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit until nicely cooked. Now, boil any kind of pasta you prefer. You can use spaghetti. I chose to use penne here according to the instructions of the package. Al dente is preferred here because we're going to cook them just a little bit with the sauce. Drain the water from your pasta and make sure that everything is nicely rinsed and there remains no water. And to the same pot, add some regular red tomato sauce. I had some extra or just use the creamy tomato sauce. Either way, it still ends up being pretty creamy. And mix all of your penne or regular cooked pasta in that sauce. It'll cook just a little bit with the sauce in and of itself, so try to not overcook your pasta when you cook it in the initial stage. At this point, you can add additional vegan parmesan or keep it as is, but because this recipe is super simple, I like to keep it just with the cashews and the creamy tomato sauce. To add a little bit of extra flavor, I like to mince some fresh basil. If you don't have fresh basil, be sure to use dried or any herbs that you have hanging around. I then plate it, I add some broccoli, the penne, additional basil because that's my favorite and I enjoy. If you like this recipe, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more and let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see. See you next Friday.